one of the reasons why the Fed fund rate kept rising is because look at the way Powell's language changed, right? In March, he said he expects a soft landing. Two months later, he said softish landing. In August, he said policies will bring some change, some pain to the consumers and business. And yesterday, he said that the chances of a soft landing have narrowed, right? So it's been so hard to call this from an economy and inflation point of view that, you know, they've been getting it wrong and the markets are continuously repricing themselves. But let's uh, invite Kunj Bansal of uh, National Institute of Securities Markets on the show now. Kunj, it's very, very quiet on the benchmark indices. You would have hardly thought that one of the most anticipated events, you know, took place yesterday, just going by the market reaction. But you can see big moves in individual names. You know, right now, something like Elecon Engineering has spiked up. It came out with numbers in the afternoon, you know, towards 12 o'clock. But the stock reaction is taking place now, 7.5% higher on that. And across the board, PSU banks are doing well. So Central Bank of India is now up close to about 6%. Um, any interesting stock recommendations? Anything in the earnings season that stood out for you? Yeah, sure. So before I come to a specific stock recommendation, um, uh, let me just briefly touch on the market point that you said that on a day like today, uh, when the on the expected lines Fed hiked uh, the interest rate by 75 basis points in the US and US market fell, for us to remain flat itself is a kind of a positive move, if, even if we are not actually net positive. Because otherwise, the expectation was that in line with the global market, especially in line with the US market fall, we will also fall. Of course, uh, it, it also is backed by the fact that we are up about 7% uh, uh, from the recent lows of 16,800 odd Nifty that we touched in the last week of September. And the fact remains that on a year-on-year -year basis, we are flat, which is good compared to the all the global markets, which on a year-on-year, on, -year, uh, on a one-year basis are down anywhere in the range of uh, 15 to 20%, more specifically the US, the China and the Hong Kong. In terms of the result season and, and uh, stocks, yes, uh, so the PSU banks that you, you covered uh, have been doing exceedingly well and market has been rewarding them. Finally, uh, the, the, the share prices have been continuously going up, hitting 52-week high, uh, almost all the larger PSU banks. For me, one of the specific recommendations, the result which came in uh, in last two, three days is a company called TCI Express. It's, it's a logistics company, uh, very well known. So that company has given decent results. Stock line growth... Uh, doesn't look as as exciting because it's it's just high single to low double digit. But the fact that margins have improved in this kind of difficult environment uh, because of the lot of automation that the company has done because of the sorting centers that the company has set up, and the fact that company has earmarked some more capex, if I remember correctly, about 100 crore uh, to to do more automation and more sorting center will lead to further increase in the EBITDA margin. Uh, so, so that's a stock uh, which, which came to the limelight. The other stock which came to the limelight, a company called Timken India. Of course, the results were weak and as a result, I think we have seen about 7-8%, maybe 10% fall uh, from the recent highs. Uh, but that was mainly backed by the fact that the company had high uh, cost inventory uh, from the previous quarters in the September quarter. Now, going forward, that should ease off. And the fact that uh, the demand continues to be there from the railways which to which it supplies, from the automobile industry to which it supplies, and to the capital goods industry to which it supplies. So, so valuation, of course, is expensive, but given the fact that company operates on high margins, high return ratios, uh, the valuations will remain expensive. So these are some of the ideas that came in uh, notice in the mid-cap space. Okay, all right. Uh, hi, Kunj. Good afternoon. Nigel on this side. Uh, you know, I don't know whether you track Everady Industries. That stock is up close to on 12%. It's flying away. Volumes as well have picked up. It's been one of those big underperformers. With the hope was there's a new management that comes in. They'll change things around and things will improve. That's yet to be witnessed. Uh, at around 325 rupees odd, would you look at the stock? Remember, the promoter, I think, launched an open offer at around 320. Yes, yeah, so I don't know why it suddenly today there is a flare up. It, it just might be some buying or if so, some news is there, I have not uh, have been able to uh, get info on that. But the result was weak. Uh, you are right that the management changed and the expectation was that new management will do. But it's not that the new management can do things overnight. The fact remains that the commodity prices have been uh, very high. And like all other industries and companies, this company also might be having high cost inventory carryover from the pre previous quarters or from the previous months. So, so to that extent, it might have been difficult to, to, to improve the margins. In fact, there is a dip in the margin. And on the top line, we all very well know that the rural demand is still showing stress. 
so if we look at the commentary from the other consumption companies both fmcg as well as consumer durables uh, the the demand in the rural area continues to be at a stress and this companies i don't exactly remember the number right now has a reasonable amount of its sales in the rural area so so that that way the results were weak but as i said the new management can't change things overnight hopefully things will improve going forward the macro factor will uh, support will have to be there in terms of industry but i think companies fundamentals will improve going forward uh, what will be the right time to enter uh, it's very difficult for me to predict all right uh, thanks very uh, thanks very much uh, kunj for that view we'll take a quick break here we'll come back and uh, more on markets there's what 7 minutes to go for close and it's a flat uh, flat kind of Okay, Adani Wilmar is down close to about 2.5%. It reported numbers weaker than what the street was anticipating. We already had a Q2 update, so we got a sense of what the street was anticipating. But margins have come in on the lower side, and that's disappointed the street. There is a conference call at 3 p.m. today where we will get greater clarity. Kunj Bansal is also with us. Kunj, in some time, we will also have Hero Motor Corp's numbers. Uh, your expectation from the auto pack, and do you like any of the stocks? Yeah, so Hero Motor Corp number we will have to be waited and watched out for. The the monthly sales numbers are already known to all of us. In fact, post the September quarter numbers, uh, the numbers for the October month which came yesterday uh, were down on a month-on-month -month basis, and if I remember correctly, on an year-on-year -year basis, uh, which is partly a surprise and and continuing the discussion reflects is still the fact that in the rural demand there is still stress. So that is something that is a key monitorable. Uh, Uh, and similarly that, so that may have an impact on the hero motors price of course the abidda margin is something that also will have to be watched out for in terms of a stock i think maruti came out with numbers a few days ago and its stock moved up very sharply after that because of better than expected numbers uh, the company showed good improvement in the margins so sales were largely in line because the monthly uh, sales numbers are very well known so that a stock had moved up now with this smallish correction in the market the stock has corrected i think 6 7% from the recent peak so that's a stock where the result uncertainty is behind us because the september quarter numbers are known by now the october month sales are also known uh, uh, the fact that commodity prices are continuing to come down is a positive for the whole auto industry the little bit of uh, concern is the fact that the global crude price has again started to inch up so something brand which had fallen below 90 dollars some time back has inched up to 90 92 and is now hovering around 94 so that is that is something which should continue to uh, which will be positive if if it falls again uh, below 90 dollars uh, at least other than that all the factors are positive for the auto industry and as i said maruti for the reasons that it gave good results and the result uncertainty is behind us uh, looks a good investment for the kunja uh, it's a pleasure thank you very much as always for being thank with you. us uh, here today by the way we are ending with about a 30 odd point gain and this would qualify